Hi there, my name is Caitlin McDonald. I'm here with the Social Speak Network, and today we're going to be talking about one of the quick, easy, and simple processes that we use in order to repurpose the videos that you're creating for social media. Uh, and we've been talking about how important it is for uh, your medical practice, your wellness center to be doing videos as a way to stand out online and really create that personal relationship with your target audience and with those prospective patients. Um, however, we then take the video and we recommend utilizing it in a lot of different ways. One such way is by taking the transcript and turning it into a blog post. So this requires you to upload the video to YouTube, get the embed code, paste the embed code into a blog post, then create the description, put that into the blog post, uh, and then grab the transcript of this after you upload it to a place like Scribby, for example, and put that into the, um, the blog post as well. So this process here cuts out a lot of those steps, and it is something that we currently are utilizing with a handful of our clients. And this is through using Zapier. Um, and so what Zapier does is it's really a communication tool between YouTube and your blog. And we use it for a lot of other systems and processes as well, uh, where if you have something repetitive that you're always doing over and over again, um, IFT or Zapier or, gosh, there are hundreds of other uh, platforms like it, can connect those two um, items that you're just copying and pasting and make it so it's a really um, easy flow from one to the other. So. Let's jump in and um, I will share my screen. So what we're gonna see first here is Xavier. Uh, I already have the dashboard set up. This is our, our dashboard. And what you're gonna click is make a zap. Now, we have on our back end every video that we create, we wanna make sure that we're sharing it to social media. Um, so on our back end, every single video that gets uploaded to YouTube, then also gets posted to our Basecamp board. Um, but I do not have it set up where it also creates the video, um, the video blog post, excuse me. So what we're gonna be doing is YouTube, and you can always search for that as well. And I'm gonna click a new video to a channel. Um, and then we can click continue. And so we already have our YouTube account hooked up here. Um, but if we didn't, then we would go through the process of linking it up. Now for Zapier, as well as any other time that you're linking two different pieces of software online, I just recommend logging into those accounts beforehand, making sure you're in the right account, and then going through the process of trying to sync them. One of the reasons why I do that is because you might be in your personal account rather than the company account, for example. Um, and you don't want to link up your, your personal stuff with the company stuff. Might as well just make sure from the very beginning you're cutting out that step and doing it immediately. So here we need to get the channel ID. There is also um, the option of, let's say, doing, um, so I did the new, new video in the channel. Um, you could also do upload a video to a username. Um, however, sometimes it's difficult to figure out what the username is, but the channel ID is very simple to find. So I am going to just click this button right here. So I already clicked to upload a video, um, but the channel ID is just this next one after this channel here. Oops. And we'll click continue. And then I always recommend testing this trigger. So fingers crossed it worked. Awesome. So our last video that we did is five content marketing ideas for healthcare practices. This was our blog post last week. And look at this. It pulls in the description when it was published, as well as the thumbnails. And um, so that is really cool that it also does the thumbnails because we're going to be using that for our featured image down the road here. Okay, so what we have is when this happens, so when a new video is uploaded to the channel on YouTube, 
we do this. And so here we want to do WordPress and we want to create a post. Okay, we'll click continue. And we want the WordPress that we already have connected. But again, you'd want to make sure you're logged in here and it would just prompt you through the steps of making sure that, um, that you have access and you're giving uh, Xavier the access to that account. So what I want to do is create a post. However, you could also do um, pages, media, forums, et cetera, products, pop-ups, whatever you have there. We want to do a post for this part. The title is the title of the video. And you could also do, you know, if you want to, um, you could put video in the title there, or you could put, um, you know, from the, the wellness video channel or something, I don't know, um, whatever you want to uh, put there. I'm just gonna put the title just to keep it simple. The featured media. So here we might have to play around with it just a little bit to make sure that we get that, um, that image there. And it looks as though, there we go. So instead of doing the featured media, what we wanna do is this custom one. And so this will actually pull in that featured image, the thumbnail image um, that you had selected when you upload the YouTube video. So I believe I want to do the default URL. Let's say. I'm going to do the high one, max res. Let's do this one. Um, basically what I was looking at here is the, the default width and everything. Um, and so the max res is going to be the biggest option that we can do. Okay. Let's make sure that did that. Oops. And because I clicked it twice, it went in there twice. So we only want it in there once. Okay. Content. So here you can just click the description. Uh, and it will automatically put that description in there. Now you could add more content in here if you want. Um, for example, you could have um, in this new video about, let's say you only talk about healthcare marketing, for example. We discuss, and then you could have the title, period. And then we'd want to have the description here. You know what, I'm going to make this a H3 so you can add some of that SEO stuff in here already, um, just as HTML. And so it says uses WordPress text editor, supports HTML. So here I added that little header tag as well as the paragraphs there. Status. So we want this status to be a draft. Um, you could have it be published immediately, but I always recommend just double checking to make sure that all the settings are correct. The excerpt. Um, it's up to you if you utilize excerpts on places on your site. I'm going to leave this blank. Most websites do have this just be a blank um, field and Google then would, you know, if it needs a, an excerpt from something, it'll just grab the content. Um, post date. What we want to do here is the date, the published date. Okay. Post format. Typically, we want to keep this just as standard. Potentially your blog has different um, formats there. And then the post name, we'll use the title. Okay, comment status. I'm gonna do closed. Typically for wellness websites and healthcare websites, we do want that to be um, turned off. However, if you are an influencer or something like that, keep it turned on. Um, we don't want it sticky. And then we can also do some tags. So for the tags, 
I'm just going to do, um, oops, I forgot the category. So you can have uh, the category as well. I would recommend having um, something with video. Let's see. Uh, oops, and actually, yeah, that would be fine. Um, let's see. So I'm just going to keep this one tag. Um, we have the category selected here. You could have a, um, a different category as well, video blogs or something like that uh, would be good, or just use the base category that you have. And again, this is just so that you have fewer um, items to fill in as you're reviewing the blog post. So we're gonna do test and continue. And we created a post. So let's go in here and check out our post so that you can see what it looks like. Okay. And if you take a look here, we have this post right here. So I'm going to just click to preview. And as you can see, we have in this new video about healthcare marketing, we discussed five content marketing ideas for healthcare practices. Uh, and then it says the, um, the content from the description. And you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to embed the video. <laughs> so this is why you always do the test. So let's jump on back up here and we're gonna customize the post. That's so funny. Um, and so let's put in that embed code. And what we're going to do is, this is the embed URL, um, and so then you just need to put that into the, um, the correct script. So I'll, I'll make sure to post that script down here in just one moment. Okay, so how the um, embed information works from YouTube is there is kind of a, a standard um, information uh, that you can even just get when you are um, on YouTube and you click to embed something. Um, again, this is just setting it up one time and then it'll continually do it correctly. Um, but what we wanna do here is I pasted in that um, information and I want to write in this SRC um, quotations, I wanna put in the correct information there. So here I'm grabbing the embed URL and I'm just pasting it in there or clicking so that it goes in there. Um, so let's just double check to make sure that this works correctly. And I'm gonna retest. Let's see, we'll go back to the posts. I might have to delete that post just to make sure that it, yeah, I'll have to delete that post. Um, trash. Okay. Retest. Okay. Let's refresh this. Perfect. So then here, let's preview this. I guess I'm deleted it before I meant to, but now we have that video automatically embedded in there. Um, and so an easy way to get the um, that embed code, again, I'll paste it down below. Sometimes those quotation marks, um, they'll, they'll copy and paste incorrectly just from YouTube. Um, but what we want to do is, here, this is a, we'll do um, King I, Kim, like off, pause this so we don't hear it, click share. And so we grab this embed code. Um, so you can do this on any video that pops up. It doesn't have to be yours. Copy this information right here. And again, this SRC embed right here, this URL is that embed URL that Zapier will be able to provide for you. So that's how I recommend getting it. I'll just copy this just so that um, I can put it in our YouTube description, um, and then you'll be good to go. Uh, so this is 
really the process that we utilize as a way to make it easier to manage all that content that you're creating. We're telling you to create these, um, these videos. So what's the easiest way that's going to save time and save money to get those videos from YouTube and then into the blog post? Um, because you want this content to live on your blog as a way to really get the most out of it and make sure that you have that SEO benefit as well as the ability to share it most uh, more easily to your newsletter or to um, an email or something like that to get people back to the website so that hopefully they'll end up uh, requesting a consultation. So if this was confusing to follow at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Put a comment down below. It was kind of one of our, our more technical topics. However, Zapier does do a fantastic job really just making sure that um, the steps are pretty easy to implement. If it's your first time going into Zapier and setting up an account, um, it might look a little confusing. Just click that Make a Zap button, search for what you want to do, and you'll be able to set it up. Uh, of course, we're more than happy to schedule a consultation as well. And this call, we'll see if we'll be able to be a good fit for your team uh, in order to, to help you with all of your digital marketing efforts. My name is Caitlin McDonald. I'm here with the Social Speak Network. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, also, please check out our podcast over on Podbean and iTunes. And don't forget to head on over to socialspeaknetwork.com. Great, and I'll see you in the next one.